Good morning. It's good to connect with you this morning, this Wednesday morning for our Wednesday devotional. This time, uh, we'll be taking a moment to pause in our day and our week, whether this is at the start of the day or if you're catching this later in the afternoon or the evening. I advise to take this uh, brief moment to pause whatever we are doing, whatever we are busy with, whatever we may be tired from. Take a moment to pause and to reflect on that connection, the hope that we have from our God. What I'm planning to do, as I usually do, I'll open us with a word of prayer from the Book of Common Prayer, and then I will read from the scripture, have a short devotional, and then we'll close in prayer. So at this time, I invite us to be in a moment of prayer. So hear these words. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And then our reading from the scriptures today is from Psalm 25, verses 1 through 9. So hear these words from the Psalms. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Do not let me be put to shame. Do not let my enemies exult over me. Do not let those who wait for you to be put to shame, do not, let, do not let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Be mindful of your mercy, O Lord, and of your steadfast love. For they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. When I think about this psalm, I think about how this psalm is a psalm that's a, uh, of David, a psalm, you know, ascribed to David and to his writing. And it's verse seven that really uh, stands out to me. When I think about David uh, in particular, and verse seven is, do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. David, uh, is you know rem, uh, mindful or is rem, uh, remembered I should say uh, for being a person after you know the heart of God, you know God's own heart. But David was a human being. He was not perfect. He did things that um, certainly nobody would want to be proud of or uh, would want to have recalled as a part of their legacy. But yet David is remembered as being a, a righteous person, a person after God. And I think this is important for us to remember. David was fully aware of his struggles, fully aware of his own brokenness, the things he had done in his past. But instead of letting that define him, instead of letting that you know, be you know, the only thing that would define him or you know, guide his decisions going forward, instead, there's an effort to follow God, an effort to be after God's own heart. And so I think this lesson for us is even though we have things in our past, things that we are not proud of, things that um, might be painful, be hurtful, they bring up memories that are not that great, those things don't have to define us going forward. Instead, it's the mercy and the love and the grace of God. It's the, the love and the care that's given to us through Jesus Christ. There are many things that Certainly, I'm not proud of from my past things that um, I would not want to be remembered by. But what I pray and hope is that I am remembered for the, the transformative love 
that has been shared with me in Christ, the grace that comes from our God. And I believe for all of us, as we grow in faith, as we move forward, that grace that comes from Christ, that grace that comes from God, that is what can define us. And that is what can carry us forward. I invite us today to let those things that that are in our past, to let them be in the past. The brokenness, the the sin that existed, you know, whenever it was, maybe it was tomorrow, maybe it was uh, 5, 10, 15 minutes ago. But whatever it is, let that be in the past. And may we let God's grace and care and compassion be with us now and into the future. Amen. Well, this time I'll invite us to take a moment to uh, be in a moment of prayer. I invite us to follow the pattern that we follow at um, McClave and Wiley United Methodist Churches. We take a moment of silent prayer, and then I'll pray, and then we will close in the Lord's Prayer. So let us take a moment to pray. Almighty and loving and gracious God, Lord, we are thankful that you call us to new life, to a new beginning. Lord, there are certainly there are moments in our past. Certainly we have our brokenness and our sin. We have these moments that we much rather forget. But sometimes they come too close to the surface. We begin to think that those are the things that define us. But in reality, you do not call on us to let our sin and our brokenness define us. Instead, you call on us to allow you, to allow your Son and your Spirit to define us. Lord, may we let the past be in the past. May we let the brokenness that we have moved away from, the sin that held us back, May we move away from those things and instead move forward. By your grace, may we live into your love and may we live into the life that your son Jesus Christ offers to us now and for all of our days. Lord, we lift up those today who find themselves struggling with health concerns or in work, relationship, or school. And Lord, uh, However, we can extend your love and your care to those who are struggling this day. Lord, call on us and move us to do so. May your healing presence be with those who need to be healed, and may your care be with those who find themselves in need of care. Lord, we know you hear us, you see us, and you are aware of our struggles. And Lord, may we share your love and your care wherever we are called to do so. We give thanks for the blessings and the joys that you share with us in this life. We're thankful for the blessings that are a part of our days, the blessings that we see and the blessings we may not see, but are still there because of your love and care. We're thankful that you are our God, that you call us to a new life. We praise you for this gift, for this grace, And we praise you for the fresh start that comes through Jesus Christ. We pray all this in his name. And may we pray as you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, go forth back into your day, into the afternoon, evening, whenever you catch this. May you go back into your lives, 
knowing the love and the grace that comes from Christ, the love and the grace that calls us to a new beginning. May this love and grace define us as a people going forward. Go in peace. Amen.